I recently read a quote that said, the only things we can bring with us to heaven are other people. And I think that this quote really captures the heart of Jesus's teachings, because one thing that's really important in life is how we love and care for others. And Jesus set the perfect example for us in how he helped others not only have a relationship with each other, but with our Heavenly Father. This year, I've really been trying to put in a more intentional effort to read and study the Book of Mormon. And life is pretty busy, and sometimes I certainly fall short of that. But one of the things I've been learning about Jesus through that is just how much love and forgiveness are possible with his help. He always, he's always right there, waiting for us to reach out to him, and he wants to help us and strengthen us in everything we're going through. To me, I feel his love and peace in that. Something that I have learned about Jesus this year is that he will bring me comfort and peace when I need it the most. I made an effort this year to pause after personal prayer and I have been able to feel his love and his comfort. And I have been able to recognize him in my everyday life. And I have been able to see the tender mercies of his Jesus. Something that I have learned more about Jesus Christ this year is how deeply he loves each one of us. In 3rd Nephi, when he visited the Nephites, he wept for them because of their sadness and their sicknesses and because he loved them so much. And then he also prayed for them because he was so concerned about them. And I know that he feels the same way about each of us today. He wants us to come to him and he's happy when we turn and when we try to do what is right. Elder Kieran said in April conference that God is in relentless pursuit of us. And this is what I really believe about Jesus Christ. He is always chasing after all of us to come into him. Hi, I wanted to share what I've learned about Christ this year. Um, I've taken a deep dive into the law of love, knowing in Deuteronomy and Leviticus that Heavenly Father or Jesus asks us that, you know, that we love our neighbors like ourselves. The word will tell you that if you don't have a great love for yourself, then, you know, you can't love others and that's more manies and petties. And to be honest, that's just hygiene. So I took a deep dive into love and I spent a lot of time in John 13 when he talks about new commitment I gave unto you that you love one another as I have loved you. He's asking us to live a higher law. He wants us to love others, not how we love ourselves, but how he loves us. Now that I can wrap my head around. And that is how I want to live the rest of my life. 